It's time to kick gum and chew ass. Nah, just kidding. Okay, hey everyone, um, just want to do a quick, well, quick, it, it's not going to be quick. I apologize for that little thing, it's not going to be quick. I want to make a video explaining exactly what to go through or what to expect when you take apart a U command Wally. At this time, I'm almost done with the upper half. I'm, um... I'm already done with the bottom, all I gotta do is just put the, the tracks and everything, but I'll go ahead and explain everything that one has to do to get this thing to the very piece. Because every single part this thing had, has had to be taken apart, to be cleaned up, some pieces readjusted a bit here and there, some others just plain clean up, and, uh, and I just want to go ahead and show everything. So, first of all, this was a, a non-working Wally. That we got, that I got off eBay, that basically Kevin, Kevin told me, okay, we're going to deposit the money, you buy it and everything. It arrived the last day I was there. Either that or the, the day before the last, but it was something like that, you know. And, um, and the thing, they said it did not work. And we were really scared about that because we were like, it's either fried or there's some wire off. It worked. The only issue it had was that it would not go anywhere, but the gearbox would be sounding and everything. Now, what exactly happened? There were two gears that are the exact same gears, thank goodness, and one on each side, and they were broken. They were basically split, cracked, whatever you want to call them. They must be in that little green pill container. There's one right here. I have both of them. One was actually zip-tied so I could measure it. This gear. This um, PVC gear, I never really saw this gear breaking on these things, but it somehow broke. Maybe got abused, I don't know. But there were two of these and both were surprisingly broken. So what did I do as any good fixer? I personally, I fell in love with that Wally that Kevin had, the uh, Ultimate Wally, and I'm like, fuck yeah, at some point I really want to get myself one. It's going to be expensive, it's going to be a fucking annual hurt. But I would like to get one at some point because the thing is sick. It's advanced, it's it's huge, and it's fucking Wally. Who doesn't love Wally? So I just went through the closer, you know, the closer alternative, and I went for U Command Wally. Even U Commands are actually expensive. But as I said, as this one did not fully work, I paid thirty bucks uh, flat for both robot and shipping. So that was really good, and it came with the remote. Um, of course, a few things we found out about it. First of all, uh, before I continue with the gear. Well, a few things we found out about it, this is the original release. Because there's um, two releases, as far, as far as we know. There's the re-release, and there's the, um, you know, the original. This is the original, which has the wheels in a different... It, they're differently orientated. They're in the other... In the other one, I think they were at the back, if I'm not wrong. Um, and there's there's a bunch of differences, like the thing... Even even this is differently positioned, I think. Either differently positioned or the, the font is different. You know, the, uh, the all the data of the thing and brand and everything. Um, of course, it's much more pale than the other one. Even the eyes are actually lighter blue. And they're frosted LEDs, that's the funny thing. And um, I was always wondering, like, is there like a piece of foam or something in the ice that makes it... You know, have that, that weird-ass texture. Yes, there's like a little cylinder, a little foam cylinder, like those that you get. Like, you know, you get something brand new, and it comes with like these little pillars or these little things that, that hold the thing in place. It's basically that cut into a fucking circle and placed in a little cap with the LED on the back. The eyeglasses are not clear. Well, they are clear, but they're like dark. They're um, grayish, pretty much. So there's that. Um, and a few other things that, you know, first of all, it's a whole lot better than the uh, than the remake because the remake is really slow. Everything on the remake is slow, even the tracks and everything. And that's what kind of, that's what kind of, not tracks, treads, treads. That's what kind of like threw me a little bit to the back. But then I was like, wait a fucking second. I saw, because, you know, when I was 10, 11, when the movie got... Uh, it must have been 2008 when the movie got, you know, either 8 or 9. must have been 2009 because it's usually one or two years after in the U.S. No, wait. Two years after it's when they start showing it in the TV. So it was a year after. 
Um, must have been 2009 if I had to take a guess. It was actually a challenge. Like, it was a battle in between Kung Fu Panda and Wally. -E. And I don't know why I went for Kung Fu Panda, but in all honesty, Wally -E takes the cake. Um, I was just against Disney for some odd reason. Because I thought it was going to make robots look stupid, but never mind. Anyways. So, I saw the videos and everything of the reviews, and there was this specific video of a guy showing it. It was like a hands-on video, and the thing was fast as fuck. And I was like, wait a second, why is Kevin's not as fast? And I was like, he told me it was the remake. So, I was like, okay, the remake. So, maybe the original is fast? Yes, it is. Yes, it is fast. It's fucking fast. I love it. So... We received that everything. The thing moved a whole lot faster from the head and the and the eyes, so we could already see what was going on in the the things because they they ran pretty. Uh, the sound was already like yeah, <laughs> it's too noisy. It's uh, it feels fast. Even when we took the treads out, the things would be fast. So yeah, it's a fast one. I fucking adore it. I adore the fact. Um, I mean, all of these like wallies that can move on themselves. Not really the eye dance. The eye dance, I like it, but, you know, again, it's it's a static one. It doesn't really move around. Like, But all of these have treads. I absolutely love them. They are nuts. Just like Cosmo, even though my Cosmo's dead. But, yeah. Anyway, so, um, where was I before I got interrupted by my own consciousness? Okay, the gear. So, I remade the gear. I 3D printed it. And first, I printed the white ones. And this one <laughs> rounded out. The, the hole rounded out, and this was the one from the gearbox side, the one that has the motor. This one, and I, I, I replaced it by a gray one. And the other one is still the first attempt, first shot, and it's great. They are great. I nailed it in the first shot, and I absolutely... Let's see if I open this little thing. It actually, if you guys can hear me better, I nailed it in the first shot. Now, one thing is, there were cockroaches or tiny dead cockroaches around this area. I got rid of them. I cleaned everything up, lubricated the gearboxes, even though they are still noisy. But I don't really mind. Mo uh, the harnesses, th these don't really have the female part of the harness. This one, I added it right there. And this one still does not have it. This one, actually, the trace broke off and it wouldn't move. But that's fixed up already. Speakers down there. Decently sized, not bad. Sounds pretty good too. I mean, I thought it was going to be as quiet as the one that Kevin has. Because again, I don't really know about these things, okay? I, I don't really know. I just realized a few days ago that there's another RC Wally that I think it's the same size as a U Command, but it has a different remote and it only has, I think, three buttons and that's it. And then I know there's like a really first release of some RC Wally that moves like shit and it's weird. It's like weird and it's rare too. But that's all I knew at the time. Um, anyway, so that's practically it. I fixed it up. But of course, I had to drill through these caps that say by and large. The, they had the by and large logo. I had to drill through them because these cover the screws from the sides. Now, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the gears and the little caps that I remade for it. So that whoever has one, whoever is dealing with this piece of shit as well and has this issue is able to fix it but I make both things and I left them into the uh, in the uh, Thingiverse post that I made of course it's not gonna have the by and large logo I thought uh, to you know like make a little sticker and put it on here but oh, I was like nah it doesn't fucking matter I'm fine with it after all while it's gray and while it doesn't show a big fucking hole that shows the screw like this. I'm, I'm good with it. Um, what else? What else? Of course, they are really well glued. The other one, I had to really fuck it up. It must, must be around here. The other one, I had to ruin it to actually remove it. So, that goes to show how how well secured these things are. And even, the, even, even that, the ultimate Wally that Kevin had, those pieces of shit would keep on coming off. <laughs> like, literally. Anyways, um, that's this is not ultimate. This is you command, so no posing on that. Everything had to be disassembled, and the trickiest part, at least for me, was the neck because the neck has two halves. One half is gears, uh, two crown gears, three pinion gears, and one of the crown gears is like a like the knob that has like a little metallic pole, and then there's like a little piece that's on a track that has the that has like a shaft, like a long shaft that goes through the eyes 
and basically makes them you know when it goes down the thing does this and when it goes when they go when it goes up they, they makes the eyes do that it's the thing that everyone can see the eyes of course you got to take them apart and here's one tip if you if you're going to take apart the head to clean it up the solder the leds uh the the wires because it's if not it's going to be a pain in the ass if you ever have to reassemble the neck or something it's going to be a pain in the ass because you first got to fit the wires and then you know you close the neck there's four slots here there's two that are for each spring because each each one of these eyes is actually spring loaded they have two springs they have the spring like those rc cars where it's like a spring and it's hooked up from a from a screw and that's that's where the shaft goes through so if any kid does this nothing breaks and then there's the spring for each eye that basically keeps it straight that you know each, each eye has now the the slots of course are in different spots and one of the let's basically say that the two wires for one of the eyes which is this one is in the very front and the other one is at the very back and as ridiculous as it sounds like they are in in different sh in opposite shells so there's one wire you'll be able to put and there's the other wire which you're going to have to fit when you are uh closing it and then of course plus the hassle of of having to put the main shaft the main shaft has this little retainer piece in the middle that does not come off it's a uh, it's tight on the shaft and then of course there's the two eye pieces this is the eye piece of this one that's the eye piece of that one they both fit into the uh the back of the eyes and the eyes are actually three pieces or four because it has these two halves and then these two that you got first you got to take off these two you take off the eye from the the eye piece that's onto the shaft and then you just disassemble the eye desolder the leds and then just take everything off and go with the with the eyes themselves with the um neck itself pretty much um it has like six i believe six screws to hold the entire head because two of them hold the yellow block that you see through the outside that little round block and the other four hold the uh the edges of the head the sides of the head, the actual like this this actual gray piece of plastic, and those are long as fuck. Basically, the f I believe the front and the back screws. The flat head right there is a definite one. So the other one that's on the back, on the very back, right next to the um, the wire hole. Those two are for the yellow block piece. The other four are for the for the actual neck. Now, it's funny because it's the first time I see a gearbox made out of that flexible plastic because this is not the the hard-ass plastic they use for this. It's actually a little much more flexible plastic, and yet the gears are mounted on one side. Like, one side has everything mechanical, and it all spins with the double, double, um, double way mechanism because this thing has animation, and it only has two motors, believe it or not. This motor goes back and forth to make the eyes move or the, the head and the arms move, and the other one goes forward and then it turns. And that's, those are literally the, uh, it's a, they, they get a kick out of the two motors, I'll say that. <clears throat> other than that, of course, I had to dismount everything, clean everything up, take it up to the very, very, you know, bit. The only pieces I didn't clean up were the head, the, the eye pieces from the middle because they weren't really dirty. But all of this eye, the eye, the, the eye glass, the pieces of the eye, pretty much the what I what I call the binoculars. I cleaned everything. Um, this piece had a lot of dirt, especially in the neck area. Had a crap load of dirt. IR glass piece that you take off with two screws. Not a big deal. Arms and everything. So basically, all of this goes mounted onto here, like this. Yeah. And you screw it. There's um, I believe six or four. Well, now there's six screws and uh, there's that little harness that connects to here the, the talk harness pretty much has a try me button and the button that makes it perform some certain actions without the remote when you have it in the play mode so that's that that's that of course I had to bring this in pieces if you guys remember the arms everything was pieced up I was able to take the caps completely off and glue them because they first they were cracked that like they got cracked here so we could open up the arm a little bit to take it off from here but now it's completely off it actually cracked in another place but i was able to take it off same with the other one so that's there 
So as I said, everything cosmetic through the outside or from the outside actually got cleaned up properly. So all I got to do right now is screw this in place. And everything down here is already mounted. So just connect a few things, close the, the, the body, and then go to the, you know, the track installment and everything. So that's practically it. I mean, track. Why do I keep on saying track? The treads. Um, the treads, you can actually take them off by a much simpler way. Yeah, you're kind of the easy guy. You want to take it up out like that, you know, like sliding it through the side. If you make some pressure on here, because this is a metallic shaft it has. If you make some pressure and you actually take it off through one side, then through the other side, and there you go. Wow, that's, that's so hard, like... <laughs> Yeah, again, another thing I had to get clean, even though it's going to get dirty instantly, and I'm not really going to keep it in the thing, because I've already started seeing that the surface here has been, you know, smoothened a little bit. And you know what that means? When rubber is in contact with plastic, it melts sometimes, depending on the rubber type, of course, but most of the times it usually melts. Um, so I'm going to keep that, you know, the, the, the time this thing goes into a bag or something, I'm going to take those off and just put them somewhere, maybe in a separate bag or some crap like that, um, maybe hang them somewhere. One thing I still got to clean up is the remote, but that's not a really big concern for now. I even cleaned up the battery compartment. Um, I kind of I kind of found out why the, uh, what are you doing? I kind of found out why they, they use triangular screws, and it's because these things are stupid proof. So, you want to take it apart, you know, you want to get to the batteries, they don't want you to, like, unscrew the entire compartment and just get that thing off. It's like, nah. They just want you to do the only necessary thing to open up the compartment cover, and that's this little screw right here. Of course, there's the other IR, as I said. And, uh, one thing I was trying to look for, and I didn't really bother in the end, was to find some kind of light trace for this, because this has no... It's just, it's a, it's clear, it's a grayish clear thing, but it actually looks like something that could be, you know, that could have a light shining through. If you were to glue an LED on, like a red LED or something, maybe it would be uh, more realistic, but I'm fine with it. So that's practically everything for now. I mean, you have these, these caps and everything, again, the link on the description of, um, of how, you know, on the place where I put all the files and everything, so whoever wants to fix one of these can actually achieve it. Um, and of course, one thing, as I said before, which you're gonna forcefully have to do, because first thing you do with these things when they when they break of something, if you want to open the body, you gotta take the side tray the the treads off, but not the treads, the entire wheel and everything. You know, the entire legs of the of the robot. And for that, you'll have to drill a hole into the by and large cap on here to, you know, to access the the screw that's on here. Then after that, there's just three more screws, two at the bottom, one at the top around here, I believe. And there, the thing just, just come right off, at least on the first generation. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see if I make a much more, not much more, but a... A final video of the thing working. I've already done a video of it. It's up on Facebook and everything, but I want to make a proper video for YouTube. So we'll see how that goes. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you all in whatever video I decide to make next. And remember, bitch.